So I didn't have a video yesterday. And I did have a test, and I did study for the test, but I don't want to say that was the reason for the lack of video. In actuality, it was the fact that I did five loads of laundry. I had a lot of clothes to wash, and that slowed me down. But we're going to play Tesla. It says Tesla, but it's actually called Tesla Death Ray by NS Brotherhood. And this is uh, apparently sponsored by Stick Page. A little bit loud on my end. Okay. Nikola Tesla. Or is it Nikolai Tesla? I think it's Nikola Tesla. He's super awesome, and he... Let's see the achievements. Oh, okay. Wow, loud. Stop being so loud. Achievements. I've played this game. I've beaten this game. It's a very easy game. Kill 30 enemies, kill 300 enemies, get f f uh, 500,000 score. The only one I haven't gotten is finish level with low HP because I very rarely get hit and so I usually have plenty of HP at the end of the level. Uh, inventor upgrade Tesla Tower to third. Multi-kill. Here we go. Finish level 10. Blah, 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 blah. Credits, programming, art, and design by NS Brotherhood, audio and game design, Weem Play, and Michael Gribben. Play! Mute button, my tower, my tower's health, my tower's energy. Go! So if you don't know what a Tesla coil is, it makes a giant lightning bolt. And uh, I, these look like Nazis of some form to me. That would be my first guess. And as you can see, your job is to kind of, uh, you know, electrocute them all to death. But you can see how far down the energy goes on my tower down here. When you finish the level, like right now I have 600 money, I have my choices. I can repair tower health, but my tower took no damage, so I couldn't do that if I wanted to. Upgrade my tower health. Um, that, f at least for me, is the very last upgrade I ever bought because it is pointless for me. Energy upgrade, which is the most important upgrade and the one that I will buy now. That increases my energy capacity, so now, as I go and shoot these guys, uh, I use up relatively... I use the same amount of energy as I always use, but because my bar is now effectively longer, uh, each of my shots seems to use up less. And look at, there's the big old armored-looking ones. They have schools for heads. And they are a little bit harder to kill. I love how they keep yelling. Oh, it's fun. The major, majest, the majorist problem. The biggest problem I've noticed about this game is there are times when you can shock an enemy, actually have lightning coursing through him, but he doesn't take any damage because you're clicked like next to him, rather than directly on him, and so it, there's no damage. So now I don't have enough to upgrade my energy again, but I can purchase a mini coil, which I will do. So now I have a little tiny mini coil. It's my little baby coil. And if an enemy gets past me, uh, my mini coil will shoot him. Like, yeah, see how he just shot that guy down there? Boom. And what that means is if I accidentally, sh if I shoot a guy but I don't manage to kill him, I can go ahead and let my mini coil take care of it for me. And uh, the range on that mini coil is long enough that if I miss one guy or something, it can take them out before they have a chance to hit me. Now here, I have enough money to buy a health upgrade, but I'm not going to because it's pointless. Another issue you might want to check, uh, especially as you get into the higher levels and you start having to take enemies that take more and more of your energy, like uh, that plane that I just killed is one of the newer planes, and so it takes more shot. Ugh, there we go. You do start to run down in energy, and so you'll want to make uh, better and more use of your little coil. Now here I have enough money to upgrade my energy, but I'm actually not going to, because we're so close to being able to get Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning, uh, up until the later levels, is kind of useless. I'm going to save up and buy it anyway, but you'll notice that most of the time when I'm killing enemies, there's not too many enemies on the screen. Towards the end of the game, that is going to change. But not so much that I feel uh, like it's a necessity. 
that would be an example right there where I was, oh, just not enough money to buy it. And I actually took some damage. Oh well. Next level. I'll go ahead and go again. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. One of the big problems I've had is uh, the fact that your energy does not refill automatically between rounds. So if you end the round with no energy, you start the next round with no energy. Ugh. And those tanks take up quite a bit of energy. It works best if you're trying to find ways to conserve energy, like you find that that's an issue. Um, clicking on a guy and then unclicking. So just, you know, clicking on him and letting go of the mouse button. Just shoots the energy right at him. Uses up the least amount of energy for the most kill. Yeah, see how small my amount of energy is right now? But I'm going to buy the chain lightning. And then I'm going to have just not enough money to upgrade my energy. I guess I'll just waste some money real quick and get back up to full health. But now I can damage up to three enemies at once. This helps if you allow more than one enemy on this screen. Well, I mean, no way I'm going to double shoot that guy. But there, hitting that plane, I'm also able to hit the, uh, the plane behind it. Usually that's the biggest scene where you see this. It makes more efficient use of your energy. Because you don't use up any more energy be when you arc using the chain lightning. So it works out really well. I'm going to upgrade my energy again. <laughs> I'm five money away from buying a mini coil upgrade. That's alright. I don't use my mini coil as much as you'd think I do. I have been letting guys get by just so uh, it can shoot it. Boom. Boom. Oh, I didn't even mention this timer up here. It's because I don't pay any attention to it. But there's a timer there, and that tells you how long, how much longer you have to last before the round ends. Boom. And see, we're already on day eight, which, by the way, is almost halfway through the game. I think it is. I think it's a 20-level game. And you can see how little challenge uh, these enemies are so far. I mean, one plane hit me once, and that's it on eight levels of this game. I guess I'll upgrade my mini coil damage. Why not? Click, click. Uh, I think, and I felt this the first time I played this game, they really need to increase the number of enemies. I think there's one thing to be said, oh, you can't, or at least I've tried and was unable to shoot missiles out of the air. Because it just seems like it, it would be something you can do. I love the little walkie tanks, the Dr. Seuss move jigs. They're cool. Uh, not enough. I'll click one repair and leave it at that. The next thing I want is more energy for my uh, gun. Upgrading to seven guys on the chain lightning, I'm not sure that I've ever hit more than four guys at once. Because there's not really that many guys on screen at any given time. You have to really let them build up, which means you're not using your energy very efficiently. And you're uh, kind of just holding down the button, sweeping across a group of guys. Boom! Boom! So, yeah, this game, it's kind of boring as you, as you go along. Upgrade my energy. There, now I've got maximum energy. And now I want to save up and get, I guess, the coil upgrade would be next. Come on, energy. Build your way back up. I need you. What would I ever do without you, energy? Tanks. Tanks take too, way too much shot. Especially when there's it's possible to uh, zap a thing, as we saw earlier. You can zap it, and it'll have the lightning on it. But it won't take damage. I'm kind of afraid to actually show that, but I'll try. Uh, it works best with, like, these big planes or a tank. Hmm. It's not working as well as it did before. Maybe they fixed it. That would be cool. Because I've sat with the mouse, like, right on one of those uh, spruce goose-looking uh, planes without it dealing damage. And I wasted quite a lot of charge while doing that, because obviously you're expecting the thing to charge up. Oh! Another cool thing that they could have added, but I didn't, uh, but obviously they didn't, was upgrading the amount of damage it deals. 
by changing it to like different neonish colors of lightning. Because I think I think that would be kind of cool is if you could make blue lightning, or red lightning, or bright yellow or orange lightning, or even like green lightning. Because you would just I mean it has nothing to do with an actual uh, machine that would generate it like this. But if you run electricity through different metals or other elements, it emits different wavelengths of light and you get different colors that are sort of unique to each particular one. Like sodium in the yellow light it gives off. Or, uh, now I can't remember any lights off the top of my head. Oh, look at how much that took. Sometimes when you're clicking right on the uh, right on the thing, it deals a ton of damage right off. And other times, it just seems like it sits there and soaks it up. That was kind of an example of that. See how I'm barely, barely, barely damaging it? But if I click on like this big tank, I, I blast right through it without thinking. Oh, uh, let's buy this one because it's more expensive. New achievement unlocked. And I'll click one of those, and that's it for now. Already day 14. We're going to make it through this game without any trouble. And I'm going to yawn, because it's late, late at night, which is actually early in the morning. Isn't it ironic? It's like rain on your wedding day. That is not what ironic means. That's an overplayed joke, but I mean, it's true. How do you release a song called Ironic, and your lyrics are not ironic, they're simply coincidental and tragic? Who knows? Um, I mentioned, I know I mentioned the other day that we uh, won the OTC competition. We were supposed to record our commercial today for Omnifarm, but the guy who was going to play the doctor left. He did not stay after class like he was supposed to, and we therefore did not get to record the commercial like we were going to, and uh, so now we're going to have to wait and record it on the weekend, and he better show up, because otherwise we're not going to be able to do the commercial due to lack of people. Lack of people is always the worst. Ah, no, I'm running out of energy. It's these stupid giant planes. They take so much to kill. I might actually die here. I hope I don't, but it's a possibility. Aha! Maybe. Okay. So, first thing we're gonna do... Let's buy this. Buy this again. Good, we're at max health. And do that. And now, the only thing we're... We are 6,000 money away from being completely upgraded. And we're on day 16. Uh, this video is going to go a little over 15 minutes, but and by a little over, I mean like up to five minutes over. It all depends on how we're feeling at the end of the day. Ooh, that thing has some range on it, and I don't mean my lightning, I mean that missile. That was coming at me from all the way across the screen. Die, die, why won't you die? Oh, but I can't wait to uh, do that commercial. And then Monday morning, we have to give our presentation in class. Uh, the good thing is, the only people who are going to watch it are our professors who are going to grade. We don't have to actually do it in front of our class. There, look, look. Lightning, 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 and nothing happened to this thing. You can't click on the turret. You have to click on the main body in order to deal any damage at all to it. That uh, is an issue I had, but that was not the the thing that uh, prompted my comment earlier about clicking on something without really doing damage to it. Because <clears throat> I know that when I was doing it before, it was to the medium-sized tanks and these planes. Yeah, like right, well, right there kind of is showing my point. This thing takes damage like a beast. Like a boss. No, like a beast. I can't wait till this project's over. I'm gonna get a. I'm probably gonna get a B in this course because we did poorly on our written uh, assignment. But that is uh, what happens. Earlier tonight, I like how I'm talking about everything but the game. Bye 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 bye. 
we had a potluck dinner. I've mentioned it before, I believe, in the videos that uh, the medical school has a Christian club and the pharmacy school has a Christian club, but they're both based on separate... Oh, this is where the flying saucers begin. <clears throat> on separate national organizations. And so... Oh, this is a flying level. Everything that comes at me is going to be a plane. But we get together and have our potluck. And while we were there, we were quizzing each other on things that we had learned in school. And uh, I can say with confidence that, as you would expect, as a pharmacist, we knew a lot more about drugs than the medical students did. I mean, it's what you would expect. It's not even really a fair comparison. We were asking questions out of the... Uh, the board's examination, which is the test that medical students take in order to get uh, their degree, graduate, and go on residencies and become real doctors and what have you. But we were asking questions from the pharmacology section, and it's like, well, you know, it's exactly what you would expect. The pharmacy students happen to be very good at the pharmacology, but if you had asked any questions from, you know, like the microbiology section, we would have a severely hampered chance of answering the question correctly compared to the med students. Because, like, pharmacology is all we do. Not true, but close enough to the truth that, uh, it'll work. <clears throat> need to clear my throat. Mm. There we go. And we also found out, uh, I had brought... I've been at the, uh, potluck all three months we've done it so far. But I brought a new guy, uh, my friend Kev, from the OTC competition, and he was quizzing them on pain management stuff, because Kev is awesome at pain management pharmacy. Uh, it's something that he's put his own work into, just like the herbal supplements for the OTCs, he really knows his pain, because he suffers chronically, because he sits near me in class, and so he's always trying to get, uh, you know stoned out of his mind. This is, None of this that I say is true uh, when it comes to the bad stuff. Oh, that is a bigger UFO. Ugh, come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Maybe you do upgrade damage. Maybe I am actually dealing more damage than I think to these tanks. But yeah, he was quizzing them on pain med stuff, and there's things that we knew it in pharmacy that they hadn't even considered in the medical school. Which is cool. The one guy, we actually, we were asking him questions. Congratulates, you defeated the final wave. See, this game is incredibly easy. And uh, there's nothing you can do here. There's no clicks that work. Play more games, broken link. Menu, broken link. Stick page, broken link. There's no forward or back. So, that's the end of it. And uh, I guess after this, I will reveal the game that I plan to start playing next week. Kind of. Until then, bye bye. Five, four, four.